Hi students, in the last class we saw the what in my journal book, what in my journalizing, what in my journal entry, what in my narration. There are two types of the journal entries, okay. So the simple journal entries as well as the compound journal entry, okay. So I hope all of you understand that lecture and the very previous years, in the very previous lectures we saw the how to pass the journal entries means what's the working note we have to prepare as well as the how to apply the rules okay the personal rule real rule as well as the nominal rules okay how to apply while passing the journal entries okay so you know the uh, rules of the uh, accounting rules the personal rule real rule as well as the nominal rules okay so what's the personal rule personal rule is what's debit is the receiver and credit is the giver so this is the personal rule what's the no real rule debit what comes in credit what goes out so this is what's the real rule and what's the nominal rule nominal rule mean nominal rules is what's it's related to the for expenses and the incomes okay and but what's the rules uh, debit to all the expenses and losses credit all income and the gains okay so with the help of these rules we will pass the journal entries in the books of the journal account okay so now see in this session we will solve problem on the journal entry okay so this is actually this is the format of the journal account okay so this is a date column particular column lf column lf column is the ledger folio so it means what's from the ledger the transaction is passed so we have to write the page number or the transaction number here okay so the debit amount column and the credit amount column and the last row is what's the total okay the total of the debit column and the total of the credit column okay so actually this is the format of the journal account okay there are the five call five columns date column particular column lf column debit column and the credit amount column okay so like this we have to draw the format while passing the journal entries okay so I hope you understand the format of the journal account okay so now see the problem we will see the problem we will see on the journal okay so now see this is the problem number one okay journalize the following transactions of Sri Shankar in the year 2009 okay so in the year 2009 we have to pass the journal entries okay so the their date is given here okay as well as the date wise transaction is given okay so date wise transaction is given in the year 2009 okay so now see on the first what's the first transaction on 1st april okay on 1st april what's the transaction shankar commenced the business with cash rupees 20,000 okay Shankar commits the business with cash rupees 20,000 it means was business started by the Shankar with the cash rupees 20,000 commenced means was the started okay business started with cash rupees 20,000 so you know there are five steps or the four steps are there to apply the rules and the first step is what's ascertain the two accounts affecting in the transactions okay just try to understand the two accounts first account is the what's uh, commits the business it means what's the Shankar okay Shankar commits the business it means what's the capital account and the with the cash okay so these two accounts are affecting capital account and the cash account okay so now see this is the solution okay so this is the solution so this is the format date column article column lf column debit column and the credit amount column okay so in the date column so first april okay april first okay so what which are those two accounts are affecting cash account and the capital account okay now next step is what to ascertain the type of the accounts okay type of the accounts so cash it will come under the real account and the capital it will come under the personal account okay and what's the real account rules debit is what the comes in credit what goes out okay uh, the six, six, what his name so shankar invested money no in the business so it means cash comes in a business okay so cash comes cash what uh, assets what comes in okay so it is a debit okay cash account debit the amount is 20000 we have to write in the debit column make it dash in the credit column to capital account credit rupees 20,000 okay and so this is nothing but what the narration being started business with cash what being started business with cash okay so this is the short explanation of this transaction okay so summary of this transaction okay being started business with cash and 
narration is start with the being word okay narration start with the being word okay so like this we have to pass the journal entries okay so now next transaction is what's on 4th april okay on 4th april what's the transaction purchase the goods from ramesh rupees 2000 on credit okay so first of all try to understand this is the which type of transaction it is the purchase transactions okay again question is arise is this the credit transaction or the cash transaction so they are directly they mention here the credit transaction okay so if it is not mentioned then also it is a credit transactions because the only particular name is given if the particular name is given then you assume it is a credit transaction okay purchase goods from ramesh if it is given like this you as you have to assume as a credit transaction okay so purchase goods from ramesh rupees 2000 on credit so it means swords in these transactions which are those two accounts are affecting two accounts are affecting which are those purchase account and the ramesh account okay purchase account and the ramesh account okay so now see here purchase on april 4th in the date column april 4th in a particular columns purchase account and the ramesh account okay now second step is what's to ascertain the name of types of the accounts so purchase it is the nominal and ramesh it is the personal and the nominal nominal rules is what's debit all expenses and losses and credit or income and gains okay and what's the ramesh personal personal is rules for debit is the receiver credit is the giver okay so we are purchasing from the ramesh and this is the giver so it is a credit okay and purchase is the expenses so it is a debit okay so purchase account debit in the debit column amount column rupees 2000 to ramesh account credit rupees 2000 in a credit column okay so what will be the narration being purchased the goods on credit okay so this is the short summary of this transaction okay next the third transaction is what's april 6th paid ramesh rupees 500 on account okay paid ramesh rupees 500 on account so it means what's paid means what paid cash paid to whom ramesh from whom from the business okay from the business he paid the cash to the ramesh okay so in these transactions there are two accounts are affecting which are those two accounts ramesh account and the cash account okay what's ramesh account and the cash account okay so now see on april 6 ramesh account and the cash account okay so this is the first step next step is what's to ascertain the types of the accounts okay ramesh it is the personal account and to cash account it's the what's a real account okay so ramesh what's the personal account debit is the receiver credit is the giver okay and so ramesh is the receiver because business is paying to the ramesh so the ramesh is the receiver so it is the debit okay and what's the real rules debit what comes in credit what goes out okay from the business cash is goes out so it is a credit okay so ramesh account debit rupees 500 in a debit column to cash account credit in a credit column rupees 500 okay so being cash paid to ramesh okay so next transaction is what's on april 8th april sold goods to rajan rupees 900 on credit okay so sold goods means what it is the sales transactions what it is the sales transactions but again question is arise it is a credit transaction or the cash transaction so this is what's credit transaction so in this transactions there are two accounts are affecting which are those sales account and the rajan account okay sales account and the rajan account okay so now see there is a two accounts are affecting on uh, 8th april rajan account and the sales account okay what's rajan account and the sales account okay so now see rajan it's the personal account and sales it's the nominal account okay and what's the personal rule debit is the receiver okay and business is going to sell to the rajan so that's why it's a debit okay so rajan account debit rupees 900 to sales account credit rupees 900 sales which type of account nominal and what's the nominal rules debit what uh, debit all the expenses and losses credit all income and gains okay so after selling we are getting business is getting what's the income so it is a credit okay so being good sales to rajan okay so this is the narration okay so next next transaction is what so on 12th april received from rajan rupees 300 on account okay received from rajan means what's 
what received a cash received from rajan okay so in this transactions there are two accounts are affecting cash account and the rajan account cash it is come under the real account and rajan account it will come the personal account okay so cash account debit rupees 300 to rajan account credit rupees 300 being cash received from rajan it is the narration okay so like this we have to pass okay and so next next thing is what on 18th april sorry 16th april bought goods for cash rupees 600 bought goods means what who bought business bought okay bought means what purchase okay purchase goods for cash rupees 600 okay so in this transaction two accounts are affecting purchase account and the cash account for purchase account and the cash account okay so now see here purchase account debit rupees 600 to cash account credit rupees 600 okay so being purchased goods on cash okay so this is the narration okay so next next transaction is what's in 18th april sold goods for cash rupees 400 okay so this is the sales transactions okay so in these transactions there are two accounts are affecting sales account and the cash account okay sales account and the cash account okay so now see what will be the transaction on 18th april cash account debit rupees 400 to sales account credit rupees 400 okay being goods sold for cash okay so like this we have to solve okay so next transaction is what so on 23rd april received a commission rupees 50 okay received a commission rupees 50 okay so received means what's received cash received so in these transactions there are two accounts are affecting which are those two accounts cash account and the commission account okay cash account and the commission account okay so see here on 23rd uh, april cash account and the commission account cash account it is what's it is a real account and it what's the real debit what comes in credit what goes out okay because they are receiving the commission in a business okay business is receiving so cash is comes in okay so debit what comes in okay so it is a debit rupees fifty thousand to commission account credit so commission it is what it is a nominal account and so this was the nominal rules debit to all expense and losses credit to all income and gains okay so commission it is a income for the business so it is a credit 50 rupees okay so being commission received it is a narration okay so next transaction is what so on 26 paid advertisement charges okay paid advertisement charges means what's what paid cash paid for what advertisement okay so there are two accounts are affecting cash account and the advertisement account how many accounts advertisement account in the cash account okay so now see so advertisement account and the cash account so how it will be the entry so advertisement account debit to cash account credit okay so advertisement it is expenses so it will come under the nominal account okay advertisement is expenses right so it will come under the nominal accounts and what is the nominal rules debit all expenses and losses okay debit all expenses and losses so advertisement expenses so it is a debit so it's a hundred to cash account credit rupees hundred because cash goes out from the business and it's a real and what's the real rules debit what comes in credit what goes out okay so this is the transaction so next last transaction is what on 30th april paid salary of manager paid salary means paid means what paid cash paid okay cash paid okay to manager or you can say salary account or manager account okay so these two accounts are affecting okay so see here salary because it is it will it is a expenses for the business salary is paying by the business to the manager okay so salary account debit to cash account credit okay cash goes out while pay after paying the cash okay so like this you have to pass the journal entries and lastly the total we have to calculate the total of the debit column as well as the credit column it will be the same okay if it is not the same then your problem will be the wrong okay so it will come for the five marks like this okay the problem should be the tally the debit column total amount column as well as the credit total column should be the tally okay so like this we have to solve the problem okay so i hope you will understand this problem so if you not understand if you have any query with this question with this problem then you can contact me okay so thank you